The atmosphere was extremely tense. I remember I had just been employed at UWC and then they said Dalla Omar was coming to share offices with me. Uh, and my first memorandum that I wrote to my staff was that Dalla Omar was under attack from the forces of darkness, the security police. They had been doing all sorts of terrible things to try and damage him. And I read this letter back to my staff saying they must be especially vigilant and careful of security. Doors must be locked. Nobody got in that shouldn't get in. So it was a very tense time. So I was teaching the Freedom Charter illegally at UCT in 1974-75. And they, the students loved it. And one wrote, Africa belongs to those who love in her, not who live in her. So uh, I've always thought of human rights as Africa belongs to those who love in her. So it, there was a long tradition of human rights. We had fought and it was a war. And that's the war that was just ending in 1990 or by 1994 when Dulla who had been in the unity movement, of course, not with the Congress movement, but he moved into the UDF in the early 80s. The whole point about the movement was it unified everybody. And so unity movement, Communist Party, ANC all came together. And one of the things was we needed a formal law centre that would take human rights law forward. And that was then formed and Dulla was the first director and I very clearly remember Carter going to see Dulla with a copy of the draft of the Bill of Rights. It was sort of a week after he had landed in the country and Carter looking at me because I was sharing offices with Dulla and throwing a copy to me and saying tell me what you think of that. So I wrote all over the second draft of the Bill of Rights and gave it back to Dulla and Carter and Carter said, oh yes, that's useful. So my handwriting is on the second draft of the Bill of Rights, which is nice. But sharing an office or sharing a small suite of offices with Dulla was a wonderful experience because there was this endless flow of oh, did you Khan talking about women's rights Arthur Chaskelson, Johnny DeLange, the whole of the Constitutional Committee of the ANC would come through that office, all arguing about the Bill of Rights and trying to get it right. So the period up to the 94 election is very dramatic, very tense. There are marches, there are explosions, there is Eugene to Blanche falling off his horse, and through all of that and some real warfare, because there were, there were guns. Um, the Community Law Centre, in a very dis disciplined academic way, helped to write the Bill of Rights.